so the week before I actually did the 305 for six really ugly reps um, so what I ended up doing was I want to repeat it again and one thing actually that um, I saw I forget who, who it was oh coach couch <laughs> the biggest couch strongest couch um, on Omar Isaf's channel and something kind of struck at me uh, if you grind while training, you're basically gonna grind, or well, that's that's how you're gonna do most of your lifts as grinding. Um, that's gonna implant your movement pattern. Um, I don't, I didn't necessarily agree 100%. Uh, if you're training at your max, I do agree that you will be grinding, but um, especially since I'm doing a higher rep with lower intensity, uh, I don't think I should be grinding at all. So I actually lower the well, actually use the same weight hoping to hit the same amount of uh, or higher reps than last week. I actually only hit up five while well, last week I hit six. So what I ended up doing was I was, maybe I was anticipating too much. So what I ended up doing was I did the five and I quickly did uh, two drop sets of two reps each and the one single. Um, the single I didn't record but uh, and they, they moved a lot better. I mean, I'm, I, and I think a lot of mindset is, oh, I know I'm just going to do double, so um, I should be able to kill this. But um, even that, I wasn't too happy with it, so I might uh, just reduce my training max a little bit. Uh, keep in mind, I haven't deloaded in a long time either, so uh, actually, next week I might just deload a bit and then um, start again. Not start again, but. Um, come back to it. Uh, this is 250 for uh, triples on um, front squat, and these actually didn't look too bad. I thought they were actually horrible, but um, that wasn't too bad. I'm, I'm still a lower. I'm, I'm thinking more about power, power, power. And power is basically defined as uh, energy over time, which you know, energy is fourth times uh, or. Sorry, yeah, four times distance, which is mass times mass times acceleration times oh, um, distance uh, over time. So, and if the sport is powerlifting, I'm gonna concentrate more on the power part. Um, sorry for the angle on that uh, bench press. Uh, that was 184, five reps. I actually um, also lowered the training max for that, and I paused every single rep. I think if I I think if I need to lift it with a pause, I'm just going to pause every single rep. Um, since I already do repetition work, so on the heavier days, I'm going to pause every single rep. And this is 225 on the slingshot for uh, pretty easy three. Uh, my left thigh actually kind of collapsed a little bit. But um, yeah, so about the power, uh, if it's you know mass times acceleration times distance over time, um, and that's how I used to train maybe like a year ago um, explosiveness explosiveness that's all I thought about and then I don't know why I stopped maybe I got lazy um, so I yeah, yeah I got lazy so I'm gonna kinda switch it over and then um, focus more on getting the weight up faster and faster uh, rather than well, I'm still gonna concentrate on form but um, maybe that's what I was worried about uh, as for the deadlifts, I started noticing my form is starting to break down. Um, when I first started going back to the sumo, um, my hips were firing pretty good. Um, if you can see, the hips kind of rise a little bit right now. Um, that's because I, I don't think I'm pushing my hip forward. Actually, when I was doing the dynamic work today, they hurt like hell um, and they were tight. So I'm going to concentrate back on pushing the hip forward. A good video to look at. Um, is uh, the Kabuki Warrior Chris Dunn? He has a or Duffin Dunn is a, a good friend of mine, but <laughs> um, he had a video on how to fire your hips. Uh, what do you what you mean by putting pressure on outside of your shoes? And um, I need to look at that video before every time before I deadlift until I get it down perfect. He, he just makes so much sense. I just if I forget to watch it, then I don't get it in my head. Anyways, um, I'm mean, still making decent numbers on the deadlift, 325 for 12 reps, and that was that was all right. 
Uh, and then over at press, I lowered the train rep. Uh, well, I didn't actually lower the train max this time, but um, 105 for 8 wasn't too bad. So, gonna keep at it. Uh, deal a weight next week, and then uh, hopefully concentrate more on the power aspect of the powerlifting. Thanks for watching, guys. Remember, guys, you can never drink too much. You can only drink too fast. Be the wolf, not the sheep.